everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with Tyler and Maddie and Emily and Tori, and we're filming a Q&A. And Gypsy, Gypsy's here too. I asked for questions to do a Q&A like three weeks ago, and it was just going to be me, but they just really wanted to be on my channel, so. I begged her for days, and <laughs> here, she didn't not. want me here, but... It has nothing to do with I her paid her, content. So. so probably like Tyler and then go down the line. Yeah. This first one you cannot lie about, I will call you out. <laughs> Are you always late or early? I'm always late. <laughs> like, not even like two minutes late, I'm always like significantly late. He was late. like an hour late to picking me up at the airport. The first time we hung out, he was two and a half hours late to get me. <laughs> I'm always like early. <laughs> I don't have an excuse. I used to always be early, but I feel like I'm always late now. I feel like things have changed. There's no in between. I'm either like two hours early or just don't go. I really don't know. Joy's like, I don't go out. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I guess I'm like more early, but my husband's always late, so we just, it's either poor. <laughs> What's your favorite type of monitor lizard? Um, Aki monitors are my favorite. I don't know why, just the thing I have, I don't know. You have one? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have F and F now. I don't really know if I have a favorite. I think Aki's are cute because they're tiny, but like I also think like black throat and white throat monitors are pretty. I like Aki's. I mean, if you watch my channel or my live streams, you probably know I've been wanting one for like ever now, but I also really like green tree monitors too. They're I like Asian water monitors a lot. I also like Savannah monitors, although I never get one just because I'm not like equipped to take care of a whole ass or a whole Savannah monitor. Oh, I actually I also really like Ackies. That's a lame answer now because everyone's saying it. But Emma talks about Ackies all the time and I started looking into them and I was like, wow, you're cute and small and perfect. Just like Emma. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> What's your favorite monitor, Tori? Well, you guys said. Tori's like, I don't like Nova. monitors. <laughs> um, some monitors have really weird necks, so like. <laughs> so Nova. Yeah, so Turkey Nova. day. I really like Nova. Nova's the best <laughs> monitor. Um, I guess this question, like, it's, I, I just wanted to answer it just because it it applies to me, but I mean other people can answer it too. But has your sand boa ever bit or struck at you? Yes. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a sand boa. My sand boa has never bit or struck at me. My sand boa is just the worst and he bites me every time I go in his cage or try to pick him up or do anything with him. I have two Kenyan sand boas and one Indian sand boa and I've never been bit by them. I've actually never been bit by any. So um, my sand boas are perfect and angels and I love them and they don't bite me because um, they're not terrible. How's being an adult? <laughs> I'll let you know when I find out. <laughs> yeah. um. From what I know about being an adult, which isn't a lot, it sucks. That's my answer. I like being away from my parents and like <laughs> doing my own thing. Hopefully Janine doesn't watch this. I love my mom. We're not talking about my mom. Anyway, <laughs> um, I love being away, or I like being away from my parents. I miss my mom, but like, I feel like nobody's actually a grown up. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel like an adult at all. I feel like I can't answer that. I can answer. Being an adult is really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really expensive. Living home as long as possible. I'm 15. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Best type of pet frog, in your opinion? Oh, of course you pick this. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. You have one kind of frog. Yeah. I have one kind of frog. <laughs> I mean, you have one kind of frog? No, I have two. Yeah, I have okay. a pixie frog, a, a dwarf pixie frog, and they're just really dumb. It's like, they just sit in one spot and eat food. So, I mean, they're low maintenance for the most part and they just look really dumb. So, I would recommend overall. I like White's tree frogs because they're like little blobs and they're really cute. They don't really do much. I like chubby frogs. I really like my frog sandwich a lot. I think he's really great. But I like tree frogs, like just in general. I like tree frogs too, but I don't own one, so. Can't say what they're like as pets, but I like them. Dart frogs, but they're very Ooh. sensitive Oh, I and like scary. dart frogs. Yeah. I've had dart frogs. They look like plastic uh, toys. They're just so like, yeah. the Patricia ones, mm -hmm. they're really pretty. I've had Azurius and my favorite to look at. Tori, what's your favorite type of pet frog? Um, favorite to look at would be the Patricia dart frog. <laughs> <laughs> this question is really only for me, but I felt the need to answer because I actually get this question quite a bit. But someone said, update on pet moths. I filmed that video seven months ago. Moths have a lifespan of about five days. So <laughs> there's your update. <laughs> 
What's the most expensive and the least expensive reptile you own? Oh, I mean, I can start leopard gecko. Wait. <laughs> and, and the least like, expensive. Yeah, <laughs> like expensive to own or expensive to buy? Well, we'll just say to buy. My most expensive reptile I have is probably my VPI Lesser Exanthic Ball Python, who is $600. And then my least expensive was probably my normal ball python or my bearded dragon that I didn't have to pay for. My most expensive reptile technically was my super pewter ball python, but also it was like, if, if I didn't talk the price down on my Chico and Giant Tegu. They were like wanting like 800 for him, but I got them down, which was like way too much. They tried to rip me off. Anyway, my super pewter ball python was 500. And then my least expensive was probably my frog Snoop Frog, and she was $15. Um, I think my mo most expensive was either my ball python Toby or my blue tongue skink Bella. They were both like the exact same price. They were both 375. And my least expensive? I have like a few animals that I got for like free as like free homes kind of. Or for like really cheap, like 10 bucks or 20 or whatever. But like my least expensive that I purchased probably was my normal ball python angel who was like thirty dollars ivy and my ball python hat ivy was like 400 somewhere around there hat was exactly 400 and my least expensive was probably my two leopard geckos darla and plantain your most <laughs> expensive reptile uh i guess my leopard gecko your least expensive reptile? my leopard gecko <laughs> i mean how would you my most expensive animal and my least expensive yeah. animal then was my most expensive he was almost he was 700 bucks and then my, what is fun my tenric sorry okay. i'm just assuming everybody knows me because i'm famous <laughs> no. finn my lesser tenric was 700 bucks and then uh, something i paid for my hamster was probably like 10 oh, bucks hamsters. <laughs> Oh wait, there was a reptile. I just like don't have reptiles, that's fine. Do you ever want human children? <laughs> <laughs> what a crowd to ask. <laughs> I think like someday I potentially could want one, but the time is not soon. Yeah, I agree. Like maybe one day, like way in the future, but right now I have like absolutely no interest. No, I have not wanted a child since I knew what children were. Like literally since <laughs> I was like four years old. No. I would impulse buy a child, but I don't know if I would have one. Being a pet tuber, the, the only way I get um, anything living is impulse buying it, so. Adopt, don't shop. Would you rather be, uh, would you rather always be sweating or always be itchy? I feel like I'm already always I, itchy I am and too. sweating. <laughs> but I would rather be sweating because I hate like being itchy. I don't really know if, I don't sweat very much at all, so I'm not really sure like what goes into it, like to be a sweaty human being. Would you rather just be wet all the time, like your entire body? As, do I smell itchy? though? Because I feel like my sweat yeah, doesn't smell now. Okay, I'd rather be itchy. I feel like I would like, always like, rather be less. itchy because I am like itchy a lot of the time, I feel like. But I don't really sweat that much, but I just deal with my itchy. <laughs> I deal with my itchies. <laughs> I like when I when I hear always be itchy. I imagine like I what's the what's it called? Hives. No, it's like a plant that makes you itchy. It doesn't matter. But like poison, poison ivy. ivy. Yeah, poison ivy. Like always being super itchy. Yeah. And it like gives me anxiety to even think about being in public, trying not to scratch an itch because you don't want to call attention to you. But like I could just sweat in my house. But regardless, I'll be uncomfortable. It doesn't matter. I'm sweaty. Humans who are always itchy eventually just like try and rip their skin off. So I'm sweaty. <laughs> Can you speak any other language? I can speak very minimal Japanese and English, so that is all. <laughs> yeah, I can speak very minimal Spanish, and I used to be able to do like a little bit of sign language when I was in fifth grade. I can kind of speak French, I'm not like great at it, but I went to French school for like a while, so I can kind of speak French. No, uh, I know I get ASL. Well, ASL. I see sign, I don't do ASL. AS you know ASMR? How's your life outside of YouTube? Bad. Wait, how is that? Yeah. I don't. Does anyone have a life outside of YouTube? I feel like it's just very boring. Stuff. I don't do much. Like my life outside of YouTube is just <laughs> taking care of my animals because I don't have like a different job and I don't go to school. But also taking care of my animals is my YouTube life as well. So it's just like I don't have like I don't do anything like fun. I go to work. I take care of my animals and literally it. <laughs> I really don't do a ton. Like honestly, I just do animal stuff, which is what my YouTube channel is so my life really isn't that exciting ever. I work from home when I like hang out with my friends It's on discord and we're like playing games together or I talk to you guys so, like most of my Socialization is online anyways, but it would be like that where 
regardless of whether or not YouTube was a thing because I'm either working or like playing video games, taking care of animals, or like being consumed by hey! an ever present group chat. So, I don't know. Good? Bad? Tell me. I don't know. Just my life. I'm like a full blown married adult. So, like, my life's really boring. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are you tired of seeing in the pet trade? The first thing that comes to mind is iguanas, especially because they're sold like really small at like Petco and then people buy them and then they get like big obviously and that's bad. <laughs> so iguanas probably is the first thing that comes to my mind. There's probably a lot I could name. Monkeys because they shouldn't be kept in cages because they- Oh yeah, those definitely shouldn't. Like way too intelligent to be kept in captivity. <laughs> um, I think Savannah monitors because you can literally go and buy one for like $20 and about 99% of them die within like one year of their life. I was going to say Savannah monitors too. Uh. <laughs> so I like a lot of monitors I find that are wild caught do not tend to thrive in captivity or at least from what I've seen, I'm not like a monitor expert, but. I uh, second monkeys. There's like absolutely no reason for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm Just as like <laughs> We're gonna effect so many people but like mm. I think this is the last question and it only three of us can answer but what is the most exotic slash expensive fish you own so it it has to be in my saltwater tank and it probably is nothing special I don't know maybe my maroon clownfish or something I don't have any like super expensive fish um I have two phantom clownfish which were it was $250 for the pair, so they're probably my most expensive, but clownfish aren't really exotic. They were just kind of expensive. Yeah. My clownfish have like a very long, weird name, like snowflake mocha clownfish, but yeah, they're my only fish, so like my snowflake cl clownfish. I actually just realized that I totally lied because I forgot that I imported a beta fish from Indonesia. <laughs> so probably that, but honestly, that's not even that big of a price dish different to like a saltwater fish, which is kind of sad. Well, <laughs> I guess that was all of our good questions we got. <laughs> so yeah, those were all the questions in today's video. If you guys liked it. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, Nat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button. That's subscribe like, to join the cool. cult. <laughs> okay, outro. Okay, so that was it for the Q&A. We answered some questions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our answers, I don't know. Um, make sure to go and check out all their channels. I'll link them in the description below. But that was it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video and also subscribe to me because I forgot to say that. Okay, thank you. <laughs>